Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I have for you a really special one. I've been meaning to film this video for a long time now. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you know that back in the day, like a couple years ago, I used to film date yourself videos, basically sharing my date yourself series where I really wanted to learn how to, one, learn how to love myself, and two, learn to enjoy doing things by myself. Because I used to be a person that could only do things with my friends and if I wasn't able to do things with my friends because they were busy I would just stop myself from doing them so I decided to make the date yourself series like five years ago or something and I started doing those videos when I was very single and just like in a very different place in my life so I wanted to bring it back because I personally feel that even though I'm in a different stage and different period of my life right now I feel that it's still important to learn how to date yourself and still important to continue to date yourself and do things for you and things that make you happy so today I am going to be doing a picnic outside and also going for a bike ride and I wanted to bring you guys along with me I am also going to be sharing a fashion haul sharing the dress that I have on with a couple others that I got from Saks of Fifth today's video is sponsored by Saks of Fifth and I'm so excited to share the dresses because I showed you guys an outfit that I got like not so long ago a couple weeks ago and I was completely upset with it so I'm happy to bring some more spring summer outfits to you guys and these dresses are to die for so let's first show you the dresses that I got all right so this is everything I got from Saks of Fifth I got six dresses which I'll show you guys in the mirror in a little bit but I wanted to show you the accessories first so I got these beautiful sandals which I am so in love with I'll link it down below for you guys it's from the brand Schultz and then I got more jewelry from the Eye Candy LA, which I have been also loving. The earrings that I have on right now are from my last Saks of Fifth haul, but this little bracelet is super cute, and I got these really pretty, perfect for the summer earrings. All right, so here is the first dress, which is just a short mini dress, and it's wrapped ties really nicely in your side right here but I love this one it's from free people I really like how this one fits I think I'm gonna wear it with some sneakers for my picnic that I'm going to be doing but I also love the long sleeve and the print it kind of looks like cheetah from afar but it's actually really nice floral detail yeah this is the first dress. I'm going to be linking everything down below for you guys. All right, so this is the next one. It's a beautiful short mini one. It has some layers. You can also tie it up here if you want. If not, keep it loose like a V. And I also love the long sleeves as well as the print. It's a beautiful floral print. I don't know, I feel like now I kind of like this one more to wear it for my little picnic day. This next one is this beautiful floral one which looks like this it's off the shoulders and you can also wear it up here if you like and it ties really nicely in the front that's what the side looks like but yeah this one is really pretty and feminine looking this one is a little bit more on the dressy side it's black and white but it's so flattering i love the pleated detail and also the layer on top and yeah that's what this one looks like it's a little bit more on the formal side i feel like this one would look so cute with a pop of color but i really like it oh my gosh i had no idea this one was going to be so pretty we all need a white summer dress so of course i had to get a white one i really love the material and the detail that it has and the fit is so perfect so definitely a top favorite of mine all right, wait a second. I thought the white one was going to be my favorite, but this one, oh my god. I feel like the girl from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, I think it's the name of the movie, but this one is absolutely stunning and it's so comfortable. This one actually comes in different colors, which is great, but I love the material so Pretty. I'll link everything that I mentioned in this video as well as share all of the sizes But don't forget to check out their sale that they're currently having right now So highly recommend because they have so many cute things for spring But this is the dress that I'm going to be wearing 
for my little picnic that I'm going to have downstairs. Like I mentioned, I used to really enjoy these types of days where I just would take it for myself and do things that I personally like doing, like bike riding or having a picnic, going to the movies by myself or maybe just lunch, dinner. Um, by yourself. I find it to be really nice and therapeutic in my personal opinion. I used to go to Central Park all the time by myself. Now that I live so far away, I'm just going to go on a little trail that we have here in my bike and have my picnic downstairs because we have a nice little like grass area which I've shared before. Let me show you guys. So I'm going to try to do my picnic there and prepare everything. So let's go and prepare the snacks because I'm really hungry. I actually haven't had anything to eat today, but I'm going to put the camera down. This tripod is no longer working like it used to, so I need to get a new one, but I am going to be making my avocado, tomato, lettuce, sandwich which i've shared before in one of my not a chef videos i'll list the ingredients down below again and i'll also try to make a little mini cheese board for myself by myself because why not All right, so I'm ready. I don't think you guys understand how excited I am to finally do this and for it to finally be warm to do a picnic. I have here my picnic blanket, my mask, a book. Uh, this is in case I want to take some pictures. I also brought my jean jacket. And then this bag has my snacks and the tripod because, you know, YouTube life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be really embarrassed because obviously you guys know that our windows are really massive and Just as I lurk on other neighbors downstairs. I'm sure people will be looking at me. So Let's do this We are picnic ready. So I brought a little tray here with some salami, pita, oranges, and the cheese that I'm using is Gouda. And then I have a mango juice with my sandwich that I made upstairs and also some Fritos. I have to say though, it is a little bit awkward because there's someone right over there. Well, that was kind of an epic fail. I mean, I personally still had a great time, but to me, it's just so awkward to vlog by myself with people around me, especially like in a small neighborhood like this one. So the ground floor or wherever the grass is, they have the gym and there were people there just staring at me with my tripod and camera and it was just like, you know, already awkward. And then as I'm setting up, I realized that the people that live in that floor actually have private patios, which I had no idea about. And there was a couple there tanning with their music, so I couldn't really vlog and talk. And then more people started to get there, so yeah, that's why I didn't necessarily vlog. 
but let me show you guys. As you can tell, there's someone there, but before there were like three other people down there. Anyways, it got really hot, so that's why I came upstairs, but I am going to go for a bike ride and hopefully find an area where there's not that many people that I could actually sit and talk. All right, I got this ready. I'm gonna bring the blanket, my book that I didn't even get to read, this little tripod situation for my phone, and that's pretty much it. And my mask, of course. Oh, I should bring my wallet just in case. All right, so I just made it to the bike room to get my bike. So I finally found a place to sit even though it's in the middle of the track and also the highway and the train <laughs> What an epic fail this vlog is I feel like this vlog is seriously all over the place But oh my god, it feels so good to do this and I feel like I haven't done it in forever due to covid and just you know our new normal. I'm so glad that slowly but surely things are starting to get back to normal and we can do things like these while being safe obviously. I find it to be so crazy how different things are from the last time that I sat down and filmed a video like this where I basically had like a heart to heart with you guys and vented about my current situation back in the time that I filmed the video which was a really like i was just very lost in all aspects of the word it was a really dark and just weird time in my life where i didn't know where i was going or like what was the end goal or you know my career with youtube and where that was at the time i just was very much confused and i was also still living with my mom uh, i was in dating i I've mentioned a lot on my channel before how hard it is to date in New York City and I find it to be still very hard knowing that my friend for example has been single for a long time and just dating in general is just so so hard but fast forward to now I guess like five years or so things have really changed a lot for me in the most amazing possible way and I feel so grateful every single day I feel so grateful one for this job for what I get to do for a living for the community that I've built and also Eric coming into my life when he did was truly a blessing and also being able to move out by myself and do so many things that I truly didn't see myself accomplishing has been like so eye-opening and an amazing feeling so yeah I get so awkward when people pass by. I feel like I've lost my touch, you guys. I've lost my touch vlogging outside by myself. I cannot do it. Now, long story short is, no matter where you are in life, I promise you things can change 180 and you can have your dream life. You work hard for it and just put that positive mentality. I promise you guys, you can accomplish anything. I'm getting distracted with so many people passing by, but the message of this video is to take a day for yourself, go out and do things that make you happy. Even if you're in a healthy relationship or if you're single, I swear this is like therapy for me. <laughs> And just like that, we are back. I ended up getting some packages from downstairs. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of tired from bike riding. I really need to get a new tripod because my camera keeps falling, but super random. These hair ties are amazing and they actually work. Basically supposed to be really good for your hair and not like pull or break your hair, which is great. And I feel like it's something that always happens with my hair, so really love really love so it's currently seven i'm going to make some dinner but i think i'm gonna have a really chill rest of the day and do a bowl bath after i have dinner and relax because 
it's a me day kind of day. By the way, if you guys are wondering, Eric is currently on a work trip, so I'm having a solo date night and I'm really enjoying it. Change of plans. I'm a little too tired to make rice and chicken and like season the chicken and all of that. So I'm going to make mashed potatoes and fried egg. All right, so the day has come to an end. I just finished eating and I'm going to prep to take a bubble bath tonight and then watch a movie. But I wanted to remind you guys to check out the links below for all of my Saks of Fifth dresses that I got, as well as the accessories. I personally loved wearing this one the entire day today and I can't wait to wear the rest that I got. They have such an amazing selection for spring and up to 70% off on certain items, which is amazing. So I highly recommend for you guys to check it out, but I'm going to prep for my bubble bath now and enjoy a relaxing night. Mm -hmm. 